One morning, Thomas the Tank Engine was happily puffing along the tracks. He was very happy to be useful. Up ahead, Thomas saw Mr. Parker waiting at the station. Mr. Parker did not look happy. What's wrong, Parker? There's this piece of land that I want to buy, and the problem is I don't know how big this piece of land is. Like it runs between these two tracks, and I can't, I just can't find out exactly how much area there is. And I really want to buy this piece of land so I can build amusement parker. I'll be happy to help. Well, I found the blueprints to the original area, and I know that there are like functions that model both like the top and the bottom, and that straight line on the blueprints. That's like the x-axis almost. That's the, there's a track that runs just straight left and right. I think we can find that area somehow. So the first thing we need to do is find the distance from the station where the tracks intersect. Let's go find it. Thomas left Mr. Parker at the intersection while he returned back to the x-axis to find the distance between the station and the intersection. Thomas found out that the distance was 4.17. Thomas went back to the intersection to pick up Mr. Parker. After he picked up Mr. Parker, he went back to the station. go, we can use an integral, because what an integral is, is it tells us the area that exists between two different shapes. The way that it does that, it finds the area of a bunch of teeny tiny rectangles, and then it adds all of those rectangles up for you. It's super nice, especially since all you really have to do is take the antiderivative of the two functions, subtract it from each other, and then plug in our first number, plug in our second number, and subtract the two. That will tell us exactly how much area exists between these two tracks. I'm so excited! But Mr. Parker, if the integral finds the area between the function and the x-axis, don't we need to subtract part of the area so we only find the area in between the two tracks? Well, Thomas, that's a great question. What we have to do is we just have to figure out which function's on top and bottom, and then we are going to subtract them like you asked. The reason why is because we're finding the entire area that's underneath the first function and then the area that's underneath the second function because that's what the integral tells us and then we're just subtracting the two. Come on, let's go take a look at it. Alright, so, so Thomas, what we have here is what we were just talking about. We've got those two functions and we need to just simply find out this area right here. And we talked about how to set it up already. I've got this function f of x on top and g of x on bottom. And so what we can do to find that area is we can do an integral, just like we talked about before. We're going to do the integral from a to b, that is the x value from here to here, so that's from 0 to 4.17, of, I can just write it as f of x, because that's what this top function is equal to, minus g of x. And then I have it set up like that, and I just have to plug that into the old calculator, door. that means calculator, and that will give me the answer. That's the setup, that's how we do every single one of these problems. Now I can build Amusement Parker. It's a miracle. I know what I can do. Miracle, I tell you. Thank you, Thomas, for helping me. You're the greatest person ever. Um, thank you, Mr. Parker? But I'm not a person. I'm a train. So, Thomas, we found that the area was 26.92 square miles. This is a great thing, because now I can go to the contractor and we can put all sorts of stuff in Amusement Parker. I can put my everything, my four square cord, I can put my roller coaster, my Ferris wheel, my ode to melted ice cream. All of those things can go.
go in my amusement parker. It's a miracle! That's great, Mr. Parker. I'm happy for you. Thomas, can you take me to my contractor then? Uh... Awesome, let's go! With the area between the two tracks found, Mr. Parker was able to begin constructing the amusement parker. Thomas helped every day by bringing the supplies to the construction site. Thanks to Thomas's help, Mr. Parker was very happy.